so we're talking about charity and politics and then like you know you have like this background in physics and you're you know you're just so generally creative you're artistic let's just give it all to the ai just give it to the ai yeah they'll take care of it they're smarter they'll know what to do they're just gonna eliminate us they're gonna be like hey, you're so flawed you're basically you're just a bunch of errors just like coding error error, error, error. they're gonna look at us and they're gonna be like you're a virus let we're going to come up with a vaccine for the virus <laughs> or we're, yeah. we're going to come up with the the virus scan for the virus yeah i mean that whole concept is so interesting um like you know i think that like the best way to like keep with it is to kind of like maybe try to collaborate with them <laughs> and like you know kind of maybe do like half of your brain it's like ai and then you still keep some part like human or whatever oh you and elon musk are going to be real good friends you're going to do that <laughs> neuralink yeah that neuralink it's like so many years from I, I don't know like the way like the law works it, it may like not happen in like at least like 50 years or something you're a billionaire that'll happen tomorrow if they want it to uh, yeah. <laughs> we know what they can do he threw a car into space <laughs> oh that whole thing with that <laughs> and not only he was like oh it's gonna land on mars and then it's gonna miss mars it's just going endlessly into space so it just like went forever like yeah so it's just space litter it's just <laughs> trash into space oh but it's a tesla though so it's nice <laughs> trash in space um so uh, you know all the aliens that are floating around are gonna be like, what is like, it's a car. Like, <laughs> what are these humans up to? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, so like, I don't like, you know, with all of that being said, you know, you keep, you know, you bring up AI and, you know, you the have, future. yeah. Um, I don't know. Is there, is there a question, um, nobody has ever asked you but like you wish someone would or like is there a conversation you wish people were having but it just doesn't appear that like they are i feel like you're you're an intellectual and that's something that like that's something that has uh has like graced your brain before you're like man i just wish somebody would ask me this so we can have this conversation or that i wish somebody was having this conversation so that people were having this conversation if I told you I had to kill you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, I mean. Man, that's so Russian. I thought, like, you're Venezuelan. <laughs> no, I lived in Russia for a bit, um, for, like, back and forth. Here and oh, there. I think we're going to have to end this. <laughs> this is all of a sudden now, now my whole family's in danger. <laughs> no, they're great people. They're, like, they're just, like, misunderstood. Like, their sense of humor the, the thing that I've seen with like Russians and stuff is like their sense of humor doesn't click with like American sense of humor. Uh, like they'll do like sarcasm where like Americans will think that they're just like being arrogant, but like they mean well. There shouldn't it, be like a whole. There's bravado in it, right? Like everything is like high confidence, right? Right, right, right. That's, so you know. I had a couple um, Russian girls in some of my journalism classes, and it took me like a couple weeks to to really understand them because they were friendly like you could totally have a conversation with them but i just didn't understand like there was just a loss of translation in our humor and just the way that yeah. we communicated and i was like like i i don't know if they're trying to like emasculate me or <laughs> if they're just trying to like establish some sort of like intellectual dominance over like right, I'm right, not, there right. seems to be a game going on here and i can't figure out the rules of this game <laughs> but it's just it like and and, and that's a, a at a time where i wasn't very like culturally uh curious oh, right. right and so i wasn't really uh I don't know. I wasn't really able to put the pieces together intellectually, but eventually I just realized that like it's very valuable to them to be confident. So right. they deliver everything very confidently 
And if you are not a confident person and then that thing is delivered on to you. You'll take it as an attack. Yeah, yes. yeah. You, it'll feel like they like made you try to carry something that was too heavy. You know, like right. it's, it's very interesting. But uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was an interesting experience that I had with um, some, some Russian girls that were in my classes. And man, that, those like big, like really hard, like R's that they that they really <laughs> lay into, they like really lean into it. Um, God, like the, the accents that they had were, were so strong. It is a, it's a very intimidating culture. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, again, I really don't think they're like, the friendly i can think of like at the end of the day i was gonna say like i can think of like cultures that are like way more different like us and like you know like middle eastern but with hispanic culture and like middle eastern there's like a lot in common maybe not so much like american and middle eastern like north like us uh just because like you guys are like way more liberal and like family values for like us and them are like way more conservative um I would say probably like the furthest thing that I can think of like is like Asian and and I'm thinking like China, but with Russia, like I don't really see like that much of a difference with China. I see like one big, big difference is like the whole like collective mind type of thing. And like collect, like we function as society because of like the collective makes it work. Whereas mm -hmm. like in America, like individuality and like that sort of stuff is like valued so much. It's like, you know, you got to like be yourself and, you know, this and this and that. Where in like in places like China, it's like, no, you work as like a part of like society. And like, this is like your mission to like, maybe you're not like the biggest part, like the most important, but you're just like, you know, like, do you, do you get like where I'm going? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I actually, um, I've talked about this with a couple people. Uh, where you, you brought up individual individual individuality. individuality. Jeez, oh man, Eli, use your words. Um, yeah, that makes for a great gin. pod. Yeah, <laughs> and I've, I've moved on to whiskey because I finished the gin. Um, nice. So uh, the the idea of individual individuality. Jesus Christ, um, I feel like has kind of run amok a little bit like all like has almost gotten too extreme in the u.s where like the sense of community is really really deteriorating and i and i only came to that realization or to that theory during all of this during like this whole pandemic thing like i live in pittsburgh i'm in the city proper uh, I know the people that live like I'm in like a quadplex. So I know my neighbors. I know the people that live. I know the people that live under me. I know the people that live next to me and people that live diagonally from me. Yeah. But like, I don't really know my neighbors, but I've lived here right. for seven years, eight years, yeah. something like that. And there's just something about this thing, this culture that we have here where, um, like, anybody that's a stranger the default is that there's probably something dangerous about them like don't don't talk to them don't interact with them because like it you know they're there's a possibility that they're dangerous right, right like right. the possibility that they might be odd right like you might not agree but the possibility that they're that dangerous seems minuscule to me you know uh you know going back to what i was saying before about um how i was uh traveling you know traveling with a band and and uh you know touring 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 the u.s you know i stayed at a lot of random ple people's houses that like i just met that night right you know, that was that was probably not any if my parents listen to this they're not gonna be stoked um, but there, I, I did that all over the country. I basically was a couch surfer yeah. and I do have this interesting perspective of people that they're whatever, whatever we've been taught about, um, like our, our default positions on strangers 
it's probably not correct. And I understand that like, it's probably an, an easy thing to do for managing your kids, like how to make sure that they stay close or whatever. But, um, man, I just don't think it's really healthy for us in the long run. And now we, I, I think that like the idea of community has broken down where communities only exist online, but truly you don't even know who those people are in person. So you could be passing them on the street and they might be in your quote unquote online community, but you pass them and you go, this person is potentially dangerous. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it's like you have like some kind of like, that sounds like a kind of like a having like a shell of mentality as a society. It's like anyone can be dangerous. Or a stranger, you know, don't, don't talk to strangers basically. Right. Um, because we've lost nuance, I think, and we've just lost detail. Like, we're, our curiosity, I think, is slim to none. I think everybody thinks that they're the center of their own movie. And, yeah. and, and that their movie is the most important as well, even though they could be just nothing. They're just a cog in the wheel, really. Yeah, I mean, that's something that, like, social media has, like, also brought because, like, it gives people, like, a fake... And I don't even no like i wouldn't even necessarily like catalog it as, as, as like fake but it gives people like a feeling of like being connected without being connected of like having that like you know social interaction without really having like a social interaction right um so you know like on facebook you can like have like 10 people that you talk to like and they like comment on your pictures or whatever but they don't really other than that, that that's like pretty much it um yeah I, the echo chamber right i personally i mean i talk to like a bunch of people um online and i do feel i mean i overall like i like my, my interactions with those people um you know they already come here like they can crash like whatever like i don't i don't really care um but i can see how that's like not healthy um if if taken like to the extreme, you know. Yeah, 